What's going on guys, it's Carson and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to start Shopify dropshipping in 2019. I'm going to be showing you everything from the store creation to uh, product description, video ad, and most of all marketing your product on Facebook. I'm going to have a section on Facebook ads. So basically we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to show you everything. I'm not going to hold anything back. You guys can check out the website if you want once it's done. Um, and I haven't made anything yet so you guys are going to see the entire process. So this is going to be a super beginner friendly video. I'll show you exactly how you want to get started. Um, and I'm going to kind of form the store around the idea that I only have $500. So. If you guys have $500 to start up a business, this would be a great option for you. Uh, just follow along the series, maybe see if it's for you. Um, so the first thing that we want to figure out is what do we want our store to be called? What do we want? What do we want to name our store? So there's this really great website I like to use called Lean Domain Search, um, and I've kind of decided what I kind of want this store to be around, um, and I like. I like making one product stores, but I also like making niche stores. So it kind of depends what we run into. I think I've picked out a product I really want to test. So, and it's in the outdoor niche. So let's just type in out, outdoor and see what pops up. Uh, EDU outdoor, only outdoor. Outdoor VIP. Um, let's see. So as you can see, these are just really clean names that could easily be a brand, basically. These are like really startup kind of names. Um, so let me see here. Fair Outdoor, Snow Outdoor. Maybe we'll try a different keyword. Um, let's see hiking maybe let's do hiking uh, hiking alright so I'm gonna try and come up with the keyword so I don't make this video too long I was gonna try and do this uncut but I'm just going to uh, well delete that uh, I'm gonna try and come up with a name real quick okay I didn't end up finding uh, a, a name that I really liked on this website but you guys can kinda see how it's super useful for finding different ideas for names and it kind of inspired me to make this name forever match um, and ideally I want to make the website forevermatch.com but I bet that's taken so we'll, we'll see when we get to the domains but uh, I'm gonna show you guys the product right here it's actually really really cool so it's called okay I'm gonna not keep you out here on that it's called a permanent match so it's like a little striker that I'm pretty sure you fill with lighter fluid and then you can keep s striking it over and over. Let's get to it. Come on. Okay. So you can just kind of slide it and then it, it never goes out. You can keep blowing it out and striking it however many times you want. Um, of course until you run out of lighter fluid or whatever. But uh, this is, I think this is a super cool product. Um, it solves a problem. Uh, you can start fires with it. It's really catered towards outdoor people, people that like hiking, camping, uh, kind of the survival niche almost. Uh, so this is a really cool product. It also has um, free shipping to the United States, free e-packet shipping. Um, and that's another thing you want to realize. With drop shipping, your shipping times are normally 12 to 20 days. So the shipping times are kind of long, but if you do not do e-packets, as you can see, um, well, this is a bad case, but see, DHL shipping is like almost $60, so that's super, super unprofitable. You don't even want to mess with that. Um, well, I guess in some cases it could be useful maybe for higher ticket products, but for something we're probably going to sell for $20. Uh, that's the price I have in mind, but for a $20 product, just don't even worry about it. Uh, but keep in mind, e-packet is always what you want to use if you can. Uh, there are some in instances where you can't, but I don't like to test products that don't provide e-packet shipping. Uh, what's also really cool is they have 
uh, different variants for different quantities, which is awesome. So we're going to be able to set it up on our store so people can buy one uh, or two for a discounted price or even five for a discounted price. So this is really going to help with our average order value and we can really uh, upsell them without having to use any upsell apps, which is awesome. So. All right, so we found our name. Our name is going to be Forever Match, hopefully ForeverMatch.com, something like that. It kind of sounds like a dating site, to be honest, but we'll make sure the branding kind of looks congruent with that. So first of all, you need to create a, a Google account unless you want to use your personal one, which I don't recommend. So just in the name, I'm going to type Forever Match. Forever Match at gmail.com. Guaranteed it's taken, but... Let's see. Okay. Okay, that username is taken. Forever Match um, Team. Forever Match Team at gmail.com. Perfect. That's all you need. It doesn't need to be perfectly exact because when you buy a domain, um, I'll get into this later, but when you buy a domain, you can reroute your email, so you can make it uh, uh, contact at forevermatch.com if that's the domain we get. So you don't have to really worry about if the email looks super professional. I just kind of want to make it related in general. So I'm just going to go January 1st, 1990. It doesn't matter. Nobody does this stuff properly anyways. Um, i got to accept the terms. And come on. And real quick, I want to apologize for not being super consistent on YouTube here. Um, I've been super busy. I actually got a warehouse in China for my main store. And I also just got a big promotion at my job. Uh, I have a salary. I work a job as well along with my business. Um, so yeah, that's kept me super busy. I haven't been able to make videos when I want to. Um, and now even more so that I got the promotion but okay so we got the got the gmail account so now what we're gonna do we can close out of that now um, and we're gonna take forevermatchteam.com and I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description it is not uh, it's not an affiliate link I got denied for the Shopify affiliate the Shopify affiliate program anyways but it's not going to be an affiliate link. Basically, you just click the link and it'll send you to this page, I believe. And you just type in your email here. So, forever match team at gmail.com. Click start free trial. And store name forever match. See if that's taken. Oh, it's not. Sweet. Forever match is not taken. So we're going to save that password uh, just to save some time. But so basically what this free trial does is you have 14 days to basically design your store for free. You don't have to pay anything. If you decide at the end of the 14 days you don't want to don't want to pay for the subscription and you don't want to end up selling anything, perfectly fine. They don't, I mean, it's a free trial. But to continue after that, you do have to pay the $29 a month. So I'll get into that later. So you're going to want to click just playing around. It doesn't really matter. Um, just getting started. And next. Um, and I'll meet you guys at the other one because it's just personal information. All right. So we just clicked enter my store after we entered in our information there. And we're in. We just created a brand new store, which is awesome. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go on the left hand side here and click apps. And we're going to want to, actually it's right here, it's Oberlo. So Oberlo is used to import products into your store and, and it's pretty much required until you start getting more advanced and want to get into using the different apps. But for beginners you just want to install Oberlo. So we're going to enter our shop here which would be forever match sync login 
Perfect. All right, so now we're going to want to install the app. And perfect. So you don't have to worry about a whole lot of this right now. Uh, Oberlo wants you to import through them, but that's not the way you want to do it. Um, so what you're also going to have to do is you're going to have to get the Oberlo extension right here. So basically all you do is type in Google Chrome Store. Click that and then get the Oberlo extension. So I already have it installed so all you have to do is click add to Chrome and then it will show up on your top bar. I'm not going to do it because I already have but that's how you do it. So now we've started our store, we've added Oberlo. I'm going to refresh this just so you guys can see. Right here we have Oberlo installed, we have everything ready to go. So now we're going to click on the online store and now we can start customizing our website which is awesome so we're gonna click customize right here and we're gonna start customizing it so we're gonna start we're gonna leave the text for now um, let's see let's browse through some of the free images here I'm gonna type in outdoors see if we can find anything cool um, Hmm. You know what, I kind of like this one right here. Yeah, I kind of like that. It kind of gives it an outdoor vibe. You just got the green mountain in the background. Super open. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. So what we're going to do is this is actually, I've already decided this, but this is going to be a one product store. We're not going to do a niche store. Um, so we're going to type in the... Forever match. The forever match lasts over five hundred strikes. and can light a fire in any situation. So we're just going to start with that. Sounds pretty good. Um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look here and see if there's a better photo. I kind of chose that pretty quickly. So um, fire maybe? No, I don't really like these. Oh, here, perfect. Ooh. I'm not going to show you that, but just got an order right here from the main store. Oh. Cool. Sorry about that. I'll turn my ringer off. So, I actually really like this picture here. It totally shows off the whole outdoor vibe, and it's going to be great for the brand. So, I'm going to select that one, and this is what we're going to go with because I think that's awesome. I'm actually going to look at it in mobile view, and man, that looks awesome. Okay. So we're actually going to add a button as well. Um, shop. <laughs> Just got another order. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I like orders. Okay. Shop now. So the button's going to say shop now. Um, we're gonna go. We haven't added products, so we can't exactly add one. But for now, I'm just gonna click all products. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So it's an outdoor theme. So I'm gonna want to want to make green colors, uh, kind of outdoorsy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to hex code picker. Okay, actually, I'm not going to do this. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, we're going to go to Theme Settings, click on Colors, and the main colors that you want to change are Sale Price and Primary Buttons. So I'm going to go to Primary Buttons here, see if we can't find a decent shade of green. And I actually really like that one right there. So I'm going to copy the hex code here. 
and I'm also going to move it on the sale price. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I think that's good for now. I'm going to click save. And I'm actually going to go back up to the header here. Um, we will be making a logo probably in this video. Uh, keep in mind this is going to be a long video, but I want it to be super value-packed. I want it to be everything you need to get your store up and running. Um, so show announcement bar, uh, uncheck the home homepage only because I want this banner to show up uh, while customers are on the product page. That's how I set up mine on my main store. So we're going to use the same color green so everything's super congruent. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Um, so like I said, we'll do the logo later. Click save just to make sure. Um, and let's see. Um, let's do 50% off regular prices today. So there's a few things you can put up there. Um, you can kind of test that on your own, but I like to do 50% off regular price today. Uh, that way your customers feel like they're getting more of a deal and that it was kind of like a today only type of deal. Um, so featured collection, we're actually going to change this. Um, let me see. Well, we're going to delete this image with text here. To be honest, on the home page, it it doesn't need to be super super fancy, um, but later on the later on down the line when you want to brand it, I would suggest you do make some content for the home page. But since we're only going to be running traffic to mainly the product page here, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just kind of want to make it look trustworthy. So slideshow. Let me get rid of the slideshow. Move that. Um, so I like the way this looks. So what we're going to do now is we are going to import our very first product. Uh, that way we can add it here, and that's kind of how I like to lay out my stores. So we're going to do that right now. So once you have your Oberlo extension uh, in your Chrome, basically, uh, you're, you're going to want to go to your product on AliExpress here, and you're going to click this blue tag in the bottom right corner of your screen. Um, and then it'll say product imported successfully. Oh, and you want to go to the import list, which is super cool. Wait for that to load. All right, so we want this to be, um, let's just call it the forever match. The forever match. Cool. All right, so we're going to just delete this description. We're, gonna, we're not going to worry about the description right now. Um, I'm going to delete these here because this is what our customer is going to see. And we just want the uh, pieces. We don't need the matches. They already know what they're buying. So for the one piece, we're going to want to do $19.99. I either do $19.99 or $19.95, something like that. Um, and for the regular prices, I like to do just an even number, like 40. Because if you were to do $39.99 as well, it, it just it makes it look like less of a deal. Um, it's just a psychological thing, and that's just what I've been doing. So it's probably not a huge deal. But all right, so we're going to do $34.99 on two of them, which is going to be super cool. Um, and we can we can figure out all the percentages either. So basically, what I want to do in the variance eventually is figure out what what percent is. Or uh, so it's going to be say two pieces, um, twenty percent off or something. Or or what what you could also do is uh, uh, fifteen dollars each or something like that. So. So this one's $20 each, and this one is $15 each. So there's an incentive to buy more, which then in turn makes your average order value go up. So that is the end goal. I'm just going to delete that for now. Um, 
So what are we gonna do here? Gonna do 80 here, and what's 40 times five? Didn't mean to open that, close that, stop it. So let's do 40 times five. So 200, 200 is the normal price for that. 80. So basically how I structure my deals is I always do 50% off. Um, that's just what I've had most success with. Some people do more, but I think if you're doing more than 50% off, it kind of looks like a really cheap product. Um, but anyways, I don't want to ramble. We're looking at the pieces here. Um, I really like this picture. I like this picture as well. Um, and I don't want any of these. So I like those three pictures. I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to import it to our store. So that is awesome. Going to go X out of that. And we'll leave our builder open for now. So we're going to well, make sure we save changes here. Wait for that. All right. So we're gonna want to click on the Shopify icon. Um, and go to our product here, and as you can see, we now have our Forever Match in our store. So super easy, super easy. So I'm gonna just assign these variants a picture. I'm gonna just give them all the same picture. So, kind of forgot to set this price here, but well, let's just ballpark it quick. Let's just say $49.99 or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That, that sounds really good. So this, so one piece will be $20 a piece. Two pieces is $15 a piece. And if you buy five, it's $10 a piece. So... I think that's going to be super profitable. We'll see. I might mess with the variants later on, but that is what I'm going to stick with for now. So we're going to save that, and we're actually going to finish up the home page because I like to do things kind of chronologically. I want to make sure the home page is good so I don't have to worry about it again. So we're going to go back to customize. Uh. <clears throat> oh, sweet. So now. This is actually almost perfect. So we're going to go back to the feature collection and we only want one row and one product per row. So boom, now our product is super big on the website and this already looks awesome guys. This is going to be super, super cool. Um, I'm actually, I'm not hating just having the text forever match, but um, Creating a logo is super simple. Um, if you want me to make a separate video on that, I can. But if you really, really want a professional logo and you're super perfectionist, like I sometimes tend to be, um, you can go on Fiverr. I'll actually link Fiverr in the description as well. Um, and you can hire a logo designer to make a professional logo for like as low as $5. So I've definitely done that for several stores in the past, and normally they do really great work. So. I think the home page looks really good. I'm going to I'm actually going to start on the product description here. So, so just to kind of save time, I'm just going to write the description really quick and then I'm going to update you guys and kind of break down why I put those things in the description. So, I'm going to jump to that in just a second here. All right, guys, I'm finally back. And it's been about 45 minutes, maybe even an hour that I've been working on this product description. And I think it looks really good, you guys. So, I'm first of all, I'm not going to claim to have come up with this structure. Um, this is going to be kind of a combination of everything I've learned through the courses I've bought and just my experience dropshipping in general. Um, so I'm just going to go over it real quick and kind of explain it a little bit. So, first of all, free worldwide shipping. 
Uh, guaranteed satisfaction or your money back. We just want to evoke trust right away. And we kind of want to just display our offer to make sure that they know it's free shipping. So the very first thing you want to present them with are the benefits because benefits sell and features tell. That's that's how it goes. I was trying to think about that way too hard. But benefits tell, no, benefits sell and features tell. So, uh, so the benefits, essential for emergency situations, lasts for over 15,000 strikes, uh, no more need for lighters, works in rainy snowy and windy conditions so I like to sprinkle a little emojis in there just because it makes it a little more engaging and a little more familiar to evoke trust like I kinda said before so always be prepared for the unexpected this permanent match is perfect for all sorts of conditions raining snowing windy conditions and more you can never be too cautious perfect for camping survival and can even be used as a day-to-day -day lighter so just telling you the different uses that you can use for it. Um, and another big thing is I love using GIFs. It, it's, it's a really good way of displaying your product visually. And this is just the perfect gift. Not, not gift, GIF, you know what I mean. So then we have our instructions here. So telling them basically how to use the product. Um, and another thing you really want to be upfront about is just if there's something like right here so we can't ship lighter fluid um, the suppliers aren't going to ship lighter fluid it's just the product without the lighter fluid so I have a little disclaimer right here the permanent match does not come with lighter fluid as mentioned in the instructions above um, and it lasts 15,000 strikes so and then we do updates due to huge demand we are officially running low on stock make sure to get yours before you run out so kind of adding a bit of urgency, um, letting them, them know that they might not get this chance again, basically. So then reiterating the offer, 500 customers only, kind of backing up the previous claim that we're running low on stock. Um, and then our guarantee, we want to reiterate again, just to make sure that our customer feels comfortable. Um, so we fully back this product with our satisfaction guarantee. If you are not satisfied with your order for any reason, we will gladly give you your money back. So this is the perfect foundation for a winning product description. I think this looks really good, and I think it has some a really good chance. Um, and another thing, I also found some better product pictures, so I decided to go ahead and do that. And I also tweaked the uh, variants. So one piece, $19.99 each, two pieces, $14.99 each, and five pieces, $9.99 each. So, yeah, basically, that's pretty self-explanatory. So we are done with that. Let's actually take a look at what this product description looks like. So, wow, I absolutely love this color just straight off the bat. I love the green. Um, I'm actually a big fan of this gray too. Most of the time I make my product descriptions really dark, um, but in this case I don't think that's totally necessary. Um, let me just fix a couple spacing errors here. Let's try and put a space there. Make sure that spacing stays where it needs to be. Refresh that. Alright, perfect. Um, and I, don't, I don't really like that. It's maybe maybe we can bold it. For some reason, it's not gray like the rest of it. So maybe do that and make it bold. So let's see what that looks like. A little fresher again. Okay, that looks perfect. I really like the way that looks. It kind of, it, it just looked a little awkward before. So this is perfect. We got uh, our offer up here, guaranteed satisfaction and money back. Actually, this space bothers me. I'm going to fix that. All right, you know what? Whatever. Not even going to worry about it. Not even going to worry about it. So this is what our product description looks like. It looks amazing. Um... I'm actually going to see what it looks like on mobile because 
Mobile is where all of our visitors are going to come from. So we just want to make sure that it's optimized for mobile. So uh, it's, it's a really cool feature that you can kind of switch in between the two when you're designing your store. And oh my gosh, this looks amazing, guys. Check this out. Everything's everything's just super congruent, like the sale price and the shop button. And actually, we can go back and fix that right now. Um, so instead of going to all products, we're just going to go to our forever match. So when people decide to click on the shop now, it brings them directly to the product page instead of a collections page. Collections page, sorry. So we're going to save that. And actually, I'm going to change the name of that. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to change the name of that, but I'm going to completely remove it, actually. Let's see what it looks like, actually, first. Okay, so it looks a little odd, so I'm going to put best selling. Because with this store, we're not limited to just one product. We could, we could definitely test more products in the future, but... So that's that. We're going to save it. Okay, so we're going to want to go to payment providers right here. Yeah, normally if, if I was... Uh, if I was going to create a new store, I would set up a new bank account in my at my bank basically and have a totally separate bank account for each individual store that I run. But in this case, I'm only going to use PayPal for the store just because this is more of a demo store, kind of showing you guys how to set stuff up properly. And I am going to be running ads on this account, well not on this account, on the store. So we actually are going to be doing some live uh, ad creation, and I'll actually show you guys the process, maybe getting to our first $100, $200, maybe $500 day. We'll see where it goes, I guess. I might even turn this into a brand if it's something that uh, looks super promising. Um, but you guys are going to see the entire process, which is super cool. Um, but in my case, I'm just going to use only PayPal Express, but... Like I said before, if you guys are starting your own store, please go ahead and set up Shopify payments. Um, you can either do that or set up uh, Stripe payments. Um, there, there's a few different ways you can do it, but it's not super important right now. So basically, everything else is pretty good to go, except um, let's go to legal really quick. Um, we're going to just go ahead and click create a template on all of these shipping policy we don't we don't typically need that so uh, we're gonna really be creating our own pages um, um, I'm probably gonna finish that in another video um, so yeah just go ahead and click save alright So basically those are just pages that your customer will be able to see in while they're checking out so they can check out your refund policy, stuff like that. Obviously you're going to want to go through and look and make sure uh, you want make sure you want to do basically what those are saying. Um, so whatever refund policy you want to be doing, if it's like 14 days, 30 days, just make sure that's all congruent uh, in your legal pages. So. Uh, the last thing we're going to set up before we finish off this video is the shipping. Um, I'm going to block that off because that's my address. Okay, so you're going to scroll down past your info and then you're going to go into shipping zones. We're going to edit the USA one and we're going to go ahead and delete that zone. Trust me, it'll be fine. Um, where's the rest of them? Okay, so right here, rest of world. I want to edit that. So rest of the world is basically every country. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do, well, first of all, we got to get rid of the calculated rates. You're not going to need that. Um, and what we're going to do is click on price-based rates. So what we want to do is I like to do a little trick. Um, I name it free insured shipping. And I've done this since the beginning of when I started dropshipping, and it's worked fine for me. I haven't had any checkout conversion issues. And then we're going to click free shipping rate. 
So we're going to go ahead, click done. And now we've set up free shipping on the entire store. And the reason we want to do that is because uh, nobody wants to pay for shipping and you don't want to charge your customer twice. It's, it's just going to help your conversion rates and people are less likely to be turned away, basically. Um, you want them to go ahead and complete the checkout. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the store one last time. Going to go to this view. Um, and I think that looks really good, guys, except for this. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna just delete that quick. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bother me. Uh, remove that. Quick links. Um, uh, we could also show payment icons. I like to do that, actually, so we can go ahead and do that. Click save, and I think that's a really good stopping point in the video. Um, I've pretty much shown you how I've created a store, and i got to fix this actually, sorry. It's not 500, it's 15,000 strikes, my bad. 15,000 strikes, like I said, I wasn't sure of that in the beginning. Uh, so we're going to click save, that is awesome. Um, and I think that's a really good place to end today's video. I went ahead and created a store. I showed you guys how to set up Shopify, connect Oberlo, importing your first product, and creating a product description even. So there's a ton of value in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to be making videos on the ad creation, making the video, and also setting up your Facebook ads. So... Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I put a lot of effort into this video, so be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you like. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. One thing I can tell you for certain lately, I've been searching for my purpose.